Hey everyone and welcome to this week's project. This week I'm making a set of nesting maple bowls all from the same tree, uh, really the same log from the tree. It's been drying for close to two years. It's this main maple. So I'll cut it pretty much in half on the bandsaw and then uh, take the corners off. Find center and then drill for the woodworm screw. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that really helps me out. So the lathe is at about 500 RPM right now, and I'm just trying to get it completely round using the bowl gouge. And getting there, still a little bit to go. And this is a nesting set, and this one that I'm showing here is the middle-sized one, if that matters to you. So starting on the foot here, and I wanted to mention too that this is a set of bowls, a set of three nesting bowls as I mentioned. Uh, I don't show all three bowls in full. I, th I show this one just like a normal video that I do, and the other two are just pieces of. So just so you know. making a recess in the foot here. Taking the skew chisel and just squaring things up. And then I still have some work to do on the sides and the, and the curve. I know I say this every time, but the grain in this was really beautiful. Um, being from the same tree and the same log, each one was the same but different, if that makes any sense. Uh, you can tell they're from the same tree, but each one has just a different sort of highlight that makes it unique. This one has the bark on the side and the different colors of maple throughout. And the others, the other two were just a little different. And I know when most people do a set of nesting bowls, they use a uh, coring system and, and have it be from the same piece. However, I do not have one yet, being the keyword, uh, so I had to hollow out each one. But wood turning for me is therapeutic, so I don't mind this part. I just sharpen the bowl gouge, as you maybe can tell from the shavings. Still with the Carter and Sun bowl gouge. All of the products, tools that I use in the video will be linked in the video description. If you're interested in checking them out, 
Some of them are affiliate links and some are not. In the last couple of videos, I got a lot of questions about the uh, robust curved tool rest that you see there. It's linked in the video description if you want to check it out. Some of the questions were uh, telling me I was using it wrong. Um, I guess that's not a question, but um, some of the comments and questions, um, I was using it on the side, and it's simply because I hadn't changed it out yet. Uh, I was kind of into it and didn't want to stop. Here I'm measuring the thickness, so I do not join the funnel club today. Here I'm adding a, uh, a detail to the rim that makes the top part of the rim um, thicker than the rest of the bowl. And I do this on all three of them. I think it gives it more of a finished look. Let me know what you think. Another sand with 320 before I put sanding sealer on it. One coat of sanding sealer uh, and I let that dry for a few minutes. Make sure it's dry and then I use this uh, quadruple art steel wool pad to denib it. I find it works well. And then onto the Axe abrasive sanding paste. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I do recommend this product. There's a, a link and a coupon code in the video description. If you go to axewoodpaste.com and at checkout type in code PF10 you'll get 10% off your order. And the Axe Polishing Paste. Let me know if you have tried Axe and uh, maybe share a picture of, of something that you did in the comments, I'd love to see. I was just admiring the green, trying to give the camera some close-ups. I really like that detail with the bark. Almost gone, but not quite gone. So you never know what you're going to find. And on to the smallest bowl here. I cut the corners off uh, on the bandsaw, just off camera. Now I am going to true it up. And again, I don't show as much as I did for the first bowl, just some highlights. So you can kind of see each bowl and how it started. Now that it's round, and somewhat balanced, I can turn the speed up. 
I think it's around 900 or 1000 RPMs at this, at this time. And starting on the foot. So I know I may get questions, why didn't I do the opposite so I could have a live edge bowl, meaning have the foot be the top and vice versa. Um, I didn't want a live edge bowl, it's as simple as that. As you saw at the beginning, I, I have quite a bit of this tree left. And if I want a live edge, I can make a separate one. you're interested in knowing the measurements of each one the smallest bowl which is this, this one um, is seven and a quarter in diameter the middle one is eight and a half in diameter and the largest one is ten in diameter at the end of the video I have uh, photos that show them all together and separately So again, not showing as much as I usually do because you've seen me turn one of these already. Just hollowing it out here. Now I have it. Uh, this is this is the largest one here. Rounding the corners with the skew chisel and making making the rim. Trying to get the tool marks out. This is sharp skew chisel. See all the fuzz in the air. And here I'm trying to decide what to do with that part of the rim that's not as high as the others. Do I turn it so it's the, the depth of the bowl is smaller? Do I keep it and make it a highlight? Um, Ultimately, I kept it, and I'm glad I did. A little bit of a different angle here. Continuing the hollowing process. And here are some photos. Let me know what you think down in the comments. The uh, little hole on the top bowl is just a piece, uh, a round hole where the um, bark was and it popped out. I want to take a moment too and thank my Patreon members, Robert, Jerry, Ryan, Dale, Dave, and Khalid. If you'd like to support the channel and become a Patreon member, uh, there is a link um, on my YouTube page up in the right-hand corner, or go to Patreon and search for PF Wood Turning. Any amount of support is appreciated, no pressure. Hope you enjoyed the video, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. The next video will be after Christmas, but before the new year, so peace out.